Well, we are here today to finally get this trailer moved for, well, again, we're out with Joseph's trailer in there. Gonna put it actually onto this machine that actually slides it side to side so they can get it far enough away from the addition to be able to move it out. But as you can see, we spent quite a few days out here trying to get all the, the skirting and gutters off of it and get the addition separated from it enough where they can get it moved away. But today's the big day to get it moved out to the land. And so as you go around, this is the addition here. And uh, it's a good, I don't know, 14 by 14 or 12 by 14 or something like that. But uh, as you can see, we've got most of the, the skirting off. All the, the gutters are inside. We put it inside. We got it all removed. And like I said, we're not, we're not really experts at any of this stuff. We just know what needs really to be done. But as you can see, you can see our work. We put in a jack and actually fixed the ball hitch so the ball would go on to the truck. And then there's, of course, this is Carlson itself, the home mover itself. And he'll be moving it for us out to our land today. And his son's with him, and they're getting it prepared to move. So it should be a fun day. It should be something to see. And uh, we'll get some pictures of it actually moving off the property here and moving on to ours. So um, it's just another project we have. So continuing on, I just want to show some of these huge wooden beams they put under the house for, for blocking. They do have block, but see how far the bottom blocks went into the ground? They didn't have one of the flat ones, so they, but there's one back here that's really huge too. It's like six inches by 12 by, I don't know, it goes completely across the trailer. But yeah, we're gonna put it back on blocks and, and try to do it the right way. We're gonna, we're gonna have to drill down uh, around 40, two to 48 inches down in the ground and put uh, concrete down in it and then a two by two pad on top. We'll probably have to do about 18 of them to get the trailer set on our property. But it's just part of getting it set up and we don't have any of that started yet. But this trailer came up for sale really cheap for Joseph and Joseph decided to buy it, which is my son and and uh, he does most of the projects with me and and uh, it's just it's just another thing we have to do so uh, we can't wait to get it out on our property and get it set up all right folks that's it right now thanks we're actually starting to put the uh the, the slide on that actually slides the trailer over He just knocked that block loose that was under there. And uh, now he'll just get it. And then he'll put that under it. And it actually lifts the trailer and it slides out so they can actually pull it out here so they have room away from the addition to get the trailer out of here. So now he's starting to compress it. And he's actually putting air in the tires that has been under this trailer for a long time. I'm with him, I'm all about, if we can use them, then leave them on there, blow them up, and we can do it with the tires that's on there. He's actually putting that under it now, and they're gonna lift it up to try to get all the blocks of wood out from underneath it that's holding it up, and pull it away from the addition on the back side. So, Getting closer and closer. The 
it's a process, I'll tell you. Well, it's now on the wheels. <clears throat> they actually slid the trailer over probably a couple feet, maybe three or four feet this way, the back end of it, to get it out of the, the pits that the tires were in. And we put it on solid ground, and now we're going to have to get the rest of the wood that's underneath out by punching them with this machine he has that actually slides, slides the trailer sideways. But there's a big one there and some little ones that we'll have to get out of, and then we'll be able to pull out. But it is doing great. We'll see ya. Well, here she goes. Here she goes, here she goes. They are pulling her out of here. What was that? It looked like a one by two that, I don't know. Just a little bit of a board, but they just gonna bridge it to get over the wood. So, yeah. Boy, it is good to see it moving. He's in between them two. He's pinned. <laughs> Gonna give him a little tug. Well, yeah. He's sliding around over there, so they're gonna give him a little tug with the regular truck. Yep, yep, yep. So if it starts to get really close, then make sure you stop it before. Yep. Yeah, okay. We'll just go record the info in. Yep. That's what we want. Uh, I guess those are kind of hollow too, so they're better than what the other ones are. They're thin and dirt. Yep. four or five feet. Okay, I'm not turning that sharp, so we should be okay. And you got probably about eight feet of length to pass it. Changed up the red truck, the bigger truck as he was spinning out. It's my dad probably already mentioned, so let's see what happens here. 
This is where the fun begins, right here. Kept getting caught right there. All right, here they go. I figure they would have to. Which is unfortunate. Oh well. It is what it is. I kind of figured it would happen at some point with the snow and stuff like that. What? We're going to have to move it. Oh, we'll have to move the addition over. Are you still filming? Yeah, I am. <laughs> because the car part's in the way. What's that? We'll have to walk the addition over. Ugh. All right, we'll be back. They gotta put chains on the back tires of the big truck. That's not right. I know. <clears throat> yeah, kind of close, not too bad. All right, they got the chains on the tires. So this should really help get traction. through town and we're taking the uh, the mobile home through town with us and so so this is pretty awesome to see get uh, on the wheels and getting pulled and hopefully we'll, we'll have it set pretty quick here so place now and Joseph's trailer is sitting out here on the road ready to get pulled into our place and uh, so yeah it was quite the adventure so well we finally got it set and it looks like they're leaving now and so Oh, God. 
There it is, uh, Joseph's new home. <laughs>